We were two separate companies, Midwest Container Services, which was shipper's agent originally, and then we got into trucking. We had a couple hundred trucks, focused uh, a lot from the East Coast into Ohio Valley and uh, somewhat to uh, Chicago at that point. And then uh, Rail Container Services, which was our kind of our terminal operating company. So we ran all these uh, empty container depots and we also did the contracting for the Norfolk Southern, some of their different uh, locations. So all along the way, my dad always had this vision of, okay, what, what else is needed to support the supply chain? Those are my you know, memories of really how we began and how we continued to grow because of course, containerization grew quickly. And so it was a natural growth into different markets throughout the Midwest and even East Coast to help support steam turbines needing to store and move equipment and uh, delivering freight, you know, uh, with the trucks. CPG and Rail Container had already come uh, together. Uh, we had basically the world liner business. And the idea was to, you know, look for um, business opportunities that were were related uh, and supportive of each other and kind of developed into what is now our enterprise strategy with our own ocean capabilities, air freight, customs brokerage, warehousing, and of course the trucking and all the container complements that we, we have in one, one house. So basically, we've lived out our, uh, our diversification strategy. Now it's more about adding on and, and you know, bolting on nice add-ons geographically scale our business and uh, you know keep keep growing the opportunities to support our clients. When I opened ASF, I had a uh, had a goal of growing to a billion dollar company, and um, we had a great team. It was all about the culture. I met Fred, and uh, Fred called me. They were looking for a president to come run the company. I jokingly said, uh, "If you guys want to buy my company." I'll sell the company and I'll, I'll come run both of them. And um, CPG had been around a long time, well respected. It was one of the fastest M&A things that we've ever done. Um, and it just, it was right. It's going on four years. And I, I look back now of everything we've been through and the growth and just the continued of adding people and, um, and growth. And um, it's just, it's been pretty awesome. My family and I, we were living in Illinois at the time. I was told, you need to meet this guy, Michael Smith. He's building a great company. It's based out of Mobile, Alabama. It's growing fast. I joined Michael at ASF, moved my family down, my wife and four kids, and Michael tells me pretty much the next day after the sale of my home that he sold ASF to CPG. So, <laughs> and that, you know, we would be joining this company based out of Cleveland. And he's like, you have to trust me, it's gonna be great. You know, family owned business, great culture. This is the right move for everybody. And um, I trusted him. We joined the CPG team and here I am today. For me, it's, you know, we've been fortunate with having all these different people that, that have been dedicated, loyal to the industry, but, and to Container Port Group, right? And, creative thinkers in trying to help solve questions or needs for the customers, you know, and so whether it was on the on the depot side of life or moving a container by a truck or however we packaged it, you know, um, we had great people that have been actually around for a long time with this. We still have a number of people that have been here since that time frame, excluding myself. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's very rewarding to kind of 50 years later, um, know that we just are surrounded by great people and, and they're the ones taking us to new places. You know, I'm more focused on our culture and making sure that we don't get off course there. Um, busy creating new opportunities and, and, and the management team is just taking us to new heights and I, and I see that uh, continuing on infinitum. I think it's a testament to the company, honestly. I mean, for many, many years, most of the people that worked for World Shipping slash CPG um, at that time were very long-term employees. I mean, they would begin their career with 
the company and they would end their career with the company. So I think that says a lot about how we take care of the people, how we listen to our customers, how we're open to grow. Our culture has continued to change and our people have continued to get you know, opportunities and continue to get and you know, make mistakes and, and gain, gain growth and, and move throughout the organization. So um, it's, you know, I look forward to the, to the next few years as well. We're not at that billion dollars yet, but, but we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there based on the, on the culture and, um, and the Hunger family. You know, it started with their father and here we are today. And just four years ago, it's like our meetings were different than they are today. And, uh, and they continue to get better and continue to get better. So uh, it, it's, it's been great. You're gonna see us continue to find ways to expand our capacity offerings through other companies. Uh, currently, we have Container Port Group as a drayage provider east of the Rockies, essentially. Uh, 1,200 trucks. We're gonna open a second company brand that mirrors Container Port Group to add capacity to the fleet. Uh, we have our agency services that adds capacity to the fleet. And then we're gonna aggressively grow our logistics division, which is really gonna allow us to become a national carrier for all of our customers. I think that it's all about the people and in turn all about the customer. And I think that we should be very proud of where we are today after 50 years to be one of the top 10 trucking companies in the country and still growing exponentially. So that's, uh, that's how I would like to leave it. Well, we've, we've had great people, so that's the important part. They helped get us to where we are and, and will continue to take us where we're trying to go. We want to be the driver of choice uh, company um, we want our customers to work with us because we're the easiest to do business with. I mean, we, it should be seamless, should be easy and, and on time. So there's the tech, uh, there's the people side. You know, we're doing a lot on the employee development and creating programs through World University to, to advance our, our leadership capabilities and create opportunities for our team. And so all these things, if we do it right, uh, you know, our future will take care of itself and we'll, we'll, we're going to grow, uh, but be mindful of uh, our culture and where we came from and, and keep it fun.